Okay, everybody. So, I was trying to do this comfortable, but it's way too bright over there. And y'all really can't see me over there. So, I decided to do it uh, right here. So, I'm going to be holding the camera. But, have you ever been in a... I'm at the point... I was at the point in my life where... I wasn't too satisfied with my life. I had a lot of regret about not finishing school, not staying at a school because of the situation and finishing my degree in education, wanting another chance, wanting to serve others. Um, a lot of praying, a lot of wondering where I need to be and just dissatisfied and unhappy and just tired of my normal situation, tired of that, wanting better for myself and thus, that's what led me to the military, thus the army. And now I went, I was like, yeah, I wanna join, I wanna join the army. At first I thought it was just infantry. So I just looked it up and I was like, wow, they really have a lot of good jobs in this. So I was like, if I study hard, I can get the job I want. Then I looked up Air Force and I said, no, this is the better branch for me. Um, they just seem more, um, what's the word? Uh, more dignified, more, uh, kind of a higher level of class that I thought matched myself. And I went over there and um, so I was working, I did my test and everything and it was taking so long, y'all. I was thinking I was about to be gone. I was ready to be gone. I was like, I want to leave now. I need to be up out of here right now. Lo and behold, that thing does not move that fast. When you're joining the military, it is a process. And when I say it is a process, you have to get all your paperwork together. You have to take your tests. You got to go to MAPS. You got to, they do a lot. So it is definitely a process. So if you're thinking you're going to move quick, 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 not in the Air Force you want, maybe in the Army, but not in the Air Force. And the, everything is a process, but the Army will definitely get you out faster than the Air Force, depending on what's going on with you. And so for me, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do a medical job in the Air Force. And I had the scores for it, but my recruiter was like, listen, you need to take it again to get a higher, uh, to get another job. You need to get a, some more, get a bit higher so you can get a me mechanical job. I'm like, that's not what I want to do. He was like, unless you want to be a uh, security or um, cyber intelligence computer. And I'm like, I'm not about that life. I don't I don't want to do those jobs. That's, that does not interest me just to be in the Air Force. I don't want to be in it that bad where I'm just going to take anything. So he's like, I recommend that you go to the Navy. That's the next best branch. And I was like, yo, sleeping, this one thing in my head, sleeping on the ocean, being in the middle of nowhere, not being able to go to Walmart, Chick-fil-A, uh, do a run in the park, is not cool. Now, not being able to be on land and, and get a, a sandwich when I want a sandwich, uh, it, it's just not cool. Not being able to go to Walmart. So I was like, that's depressing. I don't want to be in the ocean. Plus, I was like, let me walk my little self over to the Army and uh, I can pick my own job. So I was going back and forth for a while from the Army to the Air Force trying to figure out, talking to both of them, like, what I should do to Army was like, we got you. You need to come over here. You can pick your jobs. We get jobs. It's the better branch. They bougie. They this. I was like, well, I'm class in. How, what is it like in the army? Are they going to be this, that, and fighting and turned up? I was like, I'm not trying to do all that. I'm at a point in my life where I'm mature and I want to be around classy, mature people, you know, that's trying to do something. For the most part, when you join the military, that's your mindset. But then there's a lot of young people getting in. I don't want to be around no, 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 none of that. Mm -mm, you know, young people be on some other stuff. So, Anyway, I put that aside and, he, and my uh, recruiter from the Air Force was like, what's better quality of life or what you're trying to get? And I was like, he's right. So I thought about it. I prayed about it. Finally, I was like, I need to make this decision because time is wasting. I switched over to the Army. I said, this is the best option for me. And lo and behold, we got my job. And y'all, when I say, I was like, I was trying to get, I was a few points away from the medical, the number one medical job I want and the number two medical job and like two other jobs I wanted after medical in the Army. Um, and then next, what I wanted was medical logistics or medical patient administration. And they didn't have those for active duty they only had them for reserve and so next on my list was HR specialist um, I really want to kind of be up and doing something more either working in you know in a medical setting working with people or you know kind of moving but that was next on my list and they had it and it's still a really good job so I'm really excited I got HR specialist um, so next thing for me to do is go to MAPS so like a few days later, I went to MAPS. And my recruiter picked me up, took me to the uh, hotel. It was a nice hotel. They gave us lunch. I chose a salad and a salad on this little vegan diet. Um, 
woke up yes in the next morning about 4 a.m breakfast at 4 30 got my roommate up had the sweetest roommate uh she was about 18 a hispanic young lady sweet we ate breakfast we got ready we headed to maps y'all maps was it was a lot going on in maps like people were like um it was different for me because i don't know at what point was the inter interrogation because i feel like they were all asking certain questions <laughs> and the way they were doing it you didn't know what part was what part um but um it was it was it was good because they had um people that were sitting and when you were going from place to place in maps they had people that were very militant letting you know you need to get ready you're about to enter the military this is serious very strict on you and they had some people that let you know this is still a blessing you know we got the benefits we gonna take care of you but it was a perfect balance is what the experience that I got I got the strict strict and I got the people letting us know hey we're proud of you as well you know and then the other people hey get in line y'all about to join the military it's not a game y'all gotta grow up get it together got all of that but it was like I didn't know who was I was thought I thought I was about to go into an interrogation room and they was gonna be like when was the last time you killed somebody have you ever boo-booed on the sidewalk you know i thought it was gonna be something really serious have you ever uh committed a crime have you have you mugged the bank like i thought it was gonna be like serious serious like i thought it was gonna be like rrr, rrr. but when i went to the different stations so many people was asking questions i don't know at what point i was interrogated you know um they were they were pretty serious and then like i said it was a perfect balance of militant as well as we're proud of you we want you to know you know you're doing a good good thing it was a it was a good balance of both of those so it wasn't too uh, too much of this or too much of that i feel like it was a balance of you're about to go in the military as well as um nation or how do i say it as well as proud of us uh, trying to trying to better ourselves, proud of the youth and anybody trying to go and serve their country and make a better life for themselves as well as serving others, being a part of the military. is that perfect balance for me. But like I said, going through MIPS from station to station, um, it was like three different stations I went to where they was asking me questions. So I don't know at what point was I was being interrogated because I felt like it was just, they kind of did it in a smoother way. And then you also, so you also had to just make sure uh, you're paying attention. If you're not paying attention, you're going to get in trouble. They had to tell me to listen a few times. Like when I went to take the audio test, he was like, watch the ground. I didn't hear him. So I tripped. He said, I just said, watch the ground and something else. And so you got to make sure you're listening when you go to MAPS. The main thing you need to do when you go to MAPS is make sure you're paying attention and make sure you're listening. So they don't want to, they don't want to have to repeat themselves. And when you go into the military, um, that's the main thing. People are going to be telling you what to do all the time. So you got to make sure you listen and get the directions right because they don't like repeating it over. So make sure you listen and pay attention because they want you to get ready and get into that military mindset. And so that was meant. And I um, I think, y'all, since we got up so early, since we got up like at 4 a.m. in the morning, and by the time it was 9 a.m., I felt like I had been at MEPS for like 10 hours. And she was like, one of the ladies was like, I know you feel like it's it's long in the day, but it's only 9 a.m. I was like, what? It's early. Are you serious? She was like, yes. And so it's going to feel like it's been... It's going to feel like it's like 6 or 7 o'clock. It's only going to be 10 o'clock, but it's only because you got up so early, the wake-up call, and then you went down there and you ate breakfast, and then it's because you started your day so early. And when you go to MEPS, like I said, it's going to take a while. It's going to take some hours. I didn't swear in until about... I didn't even swear in, I affirmed in. I like the fact that they gave um, people the option that if you didn't want to swear or use the Lord's name, which, yeah, I don't, you know, I'm... I don't, I'm apostolic Pentecostal, so I don't want to swear. If I had to swear, I would swear, just swear into the army. It's not a big deal. I'm not like doing nothing too big. But um, I chose to affirm in instead. I feel like that was a better option. And I didn't use the Lord's name. I just affirmed into the army and I asked God to cover me and I uh, keep God first. I'm, um, I serve him first. I'm part of his army first. And I just truly believe in being covered under the blood of Jesus. And when you pray and put God first, everything else will fall in order. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord first. I'm glad I get to be a part of the the army of the United States of America. Um, it's just, um, it's a great stepping stone for those who want to do more with themselves. Um, you're going to be a lot around a lot of diverse people, different beliefs, different backgrounds. I hold true to God and apostolic and holiness. But when it comes to me being an army, that's my job. It's just a job, what I'm doing. I'm going to be an HR specialist from 9 to 5. I'm going to come in, clock in, do my job, get to serve my fellow man. And that's it. It's nothing less and nothing more. Um, when it comes to the army, they look at you as a soldier first. So they want 
want to make sure you're able to do your job, serve others, serve your country. If you have to go to war, go to war and do all that. The Air Force is a little different. They look at you for whatever your job is. If you're a nurse, if you're a tech, they look at you as that and then a soldier. So you have to know the differences between the branches and you have to know what's right for you when it comes to the Navy, the Air Force, the U.S. Coast Guard. Um, I think they have one more. You have to know what's best for you. And at the end of the day, I realized the Army, I'm about that life, son. I'm a soldier. First of all, I'm a soldier in the Army of the Lord, and I'm a soldier. Like, I love exercising. I love, I just, I love being strong and being dignified and marching and like being about my business, getting something done. I like that. I like that that mindset. Like we about to go to war. We about to, when I say war, not it don't have to be like a war. Like we about to get it done. We about to put in work. We about to accomplish something. We about to be great. And I get to help others. And that's something you get to do in the medical field as well as an HR specialist. You're helping people. And it's a good job. And it's a good stepping stone for those who want to finish school, for the benefits. All these things are good. You want to get out your neighborhood and you want to serve others and you want to grow and you want to see different cultures different places different people you're a people person I'm a people person I put like I said if you put God first and you pray everything else will fall in order you always want to pray about it and see if it's God's will and I'm still praying um I got less than a month and I'm shipping out South Carolina Fort Jackson I'm very very excited I couldn't be more excited the light is super bright so if you feel like that's if you feel like you can't really see me like that, it's because the light is way too bright. But y'all, I'm very excited. I'm 20, 29 years old, and I really needed this in my life. I lost my mom about two years ago. I wasn't able to go to school, and um, I should have stayed. I had a lot of regrets. I was like, I should have stayed at that school. Situation popped up. We should have kind of pursued more. Uh, it wasn't even that serious. It was just like, you can't drive, so she can't go to the, uh, so she won't be able to go to elementary school, so she won't get her degree to student teach. Like, it was stupid. We should have fought that. I should have talked to my dean, and I regret that. I had too much pride to go talk to the other dean, because the dean that had just came was a new dean. I'm talking about the people over education. I should have talked to her, the doctor of the school. Um, I should have talked to Dr. Pruitt and at least saw what she asked her, what she would have said. Because you never know, but I had too much pride. And um, I learned to not be prideful. No, because I had been through a lot at that school. And I was just at the point where was like, fine, I'm ready to go. New kids were coming in, new generation. I'm like, I'm over this. I'm grown. I'm tired of <laughs> being out here, all this. I just want to be in something decent, something Sometimes you got to stick it out. You got to stick it out. You got to stick out them hood bones. You got to stick out them country bones to do what you need to do, to get your certification, to get the, the um, to get that lifestyle you want. You got to go through the jungle. You got to go through the, the, the hood, the, the creeks, the cracks before you can get to that um, suburban or that, that lifestyle that you want. You got to start from the bottom and work your way to the top. So I've learned not to be prideful regardless of what I go through. But if you're looking for a new beginning, and you're somebody that like to serve others. You want to go to different places, meet different people, and you just and you can. You should definitely. I definitely recommend you checking out the Army, the Air Force, the National Guard, uh, the Navy. Y'all, it's a blessing. The benefits you get to serve others. Um, it's it's a blessing. Pray about it first, cause for me. Before I'm serving the country, president, anybody else, I understand that's what you are when you're part of the military. Serving God first. I have to make sure it pleases him first. And so you want to pray about this because it's if, if you don't, it's consequences. If you don't do a job, something in the Army or the Navy, you can't go to jail for it. So you want to make sure you pray about it first. Uh, but you want to make sure you still serve God first and then do your soldier job in the Marines, Navy, whatever you're supposed to do. I recommend you looking into it. The schooling, the benefits, everything's paid for. Um, you get to save, you get to do what you need to do. And if you're mature like me, you're going in with that mindset. The younger kids just trying to get some nice keys trying to get drunk or turn up get aids get stds i recommend you don't do that i just i recommend repenting and giving your lives to christ and following acts chapter 2 verse 38 in the bible repent and be baptized in the name of jesus for remissions of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit that's what i recommend um but i understand that when i go into this i'm going around people with different faiths different background different lifestyles and that's called 
the real world. That's called a job. And so I hold true to my faith in God, to holiness, to uh, being saved, a saved young lady. But this is a job for me. I still get to serve others. Um, you get to be around uh, diversity. You get to see different countries, different people, different cultures. And that's cool and dandy. But like I said, I stand on the word of God. I stand on holiness. But this is a job. I'm, go I'm going to be a U.S. soldier. And so it gets to mature me. It gives you discipline. You got to get up at 4 o'clock. You got to be about that exercise life, ladies and gentlemen. You got to get in shape. Let's get our health together. It's time to mature. I can't eat cookies like I used to. I can't eat the way I used to. So I joined the military because I wanted better for myself. I wasn't I wasn't satisfied with where I was in life. You want stability. And it's also good for young people if you don't know if you want to go to college yet and you want to get a trade and then come out, transfer into the civilian world, you can get a trade in the medical, a trade in HR, a trade in mechanics, a trade in computer engineering, even being a linguist, a, a, lang a language, being bilingual and all that. You can, you can build degrees in it. It's so many ways that it can transfer over into the civilian world that it's not even funny. So... I would say it's a blessing until war breaks out, then you're really going to be 